Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we're let's find Dragon Quest VIII. In the last episode, we made it to the Mini Metal can Castle. So here is the gold bank. You can deposit uh, or withdraw units of a thousand. I'm not going to do that yet. I will start storing gold after a certain point in the game. Uh, okay, so yeah, his brother got a really good job over at Pickham. Nice for him. He's the bingo heel slime. And all he has to do is call numbers. So that's pretty cool. And here is a good place. This place is really cool because you can buy all kinds of molds to make, to uh, combine with your cheeses in order to make more cheeses. So that's kind of cool. We're probably using now, so I want to make off all the cheeses if possible. Um, okay, here we are. Over here. And we collect a mini metal, which is kind of convenient since we're in Mini Metal King Castle. So let's go in here first. Just like in every other game, you collect mini metals. You give them to the Mini Metal King, and you get yourself a you get yourself prizes depending on how many you brought them. I believe there's like 110 in this world in this game so I will try to collect them all I'm not sure if I will be able to hopefully I'll be able to get all the items actually I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get all the mini metals alright a gold ring yeah so gold rings are very good in this game because you can use them to make all kinds of uh, uh, other equipment and here's the list of stuff that we can get depending on the metals King Metal Helm, Mini Secret, and Maximilian Secret. Maximilian is a pretty cool name, I think. And here's the scene. Oh, the king is sick. And all he's doing is coughing. That's really what you're gonna do, king, huh? That's all you're gonna do is cough. <laughs> Don't say such things, father. That is I'm not what I thought she'd sound like. To carry out my royal duties. Don't you fret one little bit. You just make sure you rest and get back into tip-top shape. She actually kind of reminds me of the Princess of Moongrub for some reason. Maybe it's the hat. Visitors, how exciting! Is one to assume you brought some of those wonderful, shiny, teeny weeny mini medals? Yes, it is. You have? Oh, how absolutely delightful! At last, one will be able to do one's bit for the family. May one suggest that we move downstairs? We can have a lovely little chat down there. Okay. Please excuse us, Father. So I guess Princess Minnie is running the show instead of Maximilian, the king of mini metals. That's funny because this is the first time we've had a lady, well, princess. Actually, any, anyone but a king. And now he's just telling about himself through cough. And somehow we can understand cough. We are we have a degree in cough and hacking. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, Princess Minnie. She's gonna have to deal with collecting our mini medals. How hard is that for her? I mean, she just sits and waits till we bring mini medals. So it's not too bad. Oh, oh, come on, King. Take it easy. Please, Your Majesty. You mustn't get yourself so worked up. Try to relax and get some rest. <laughs> we'll do, King. We will. Alright, now that the... Yeah, His Majesty is not well, alright? Not well at all. In fact, he might be a little sick in the head, too. 
I don't even know how many mini medals we have right now. And that's Sam Shame. Heavy metal music? What the hell? Yeah. Oh man, there are red slimes hanging out here too? Wow. Damn. This place is pretty cool, huh? It reminds me of, uh... What's that place? Uh, Grandvania. And Dragon Quest V with all the monster friends. So let's go talk to Princess Minnie. Of the Minnie Metal fame. Hey, Princess Minnie. Yes. Yeah, we found some freaking. Yep, here's some mini metals. Alright, 31, not bad. And we get ourselves some fishnet stockings, pretty cool. Now when we get 36, we get a posh waistcoat. Which I think is a pretty good piece of armor, I think either for Jessica or Angela, I forget. But let's give this to one to Yangus, one to Jessica, and one to Angelo. Alright. Now let's uh, take these fishnet stockings and equip them on Jessica. And basically now that she has the fishnet, fishnet stockings, bunny girl helmet, or whatever, bunny ears, and the bunny girl suit, she will now be dressed up as a bunny girl. Look at her. She is a bunny girl. Like a Playboy bunny and stuff. So yeah, there she is. I am not going to use this outfit. Oh. Well, I guess we can talk like this. Yeah, I know. It's us. We're getting the mini medals. Yeah, it's, it's alright, I guess. Just gotta remember to get all the treasures. So yeah, I'm not going to keep Jessica in this because I want her to actually... I want her... I'll keep the fishnet stockings and all the equipment to make them. But I want her to have the extra uh, wisdom here. Rather than, you know, looking like a bunny girl. And then her spells will be more powerful. So, I want the extra wisdom. So, actually, let's... There are, there are I think, one or two points of interest also on this... Uh, little island here. Um, after you make it up a certain monster rank, there will be a really good monster over here on the, uh, I guess this is the left side over here or something. But there's also, a, I think, a treasure chest over here, too. So, let's start to look for it. Oh, look at that. Alchemies. No? Let's, uh, what am I doing here? Oh, yeah, the alchemy is done. So, let's make a new shield for Jessica or Angelo or whatever. So yeah, for the moment, Yangus, you're gonna have the bronze shield. And let's make ourselves a white shield. Again, I will I will put the uh, alchemy recipe in here. For everything. Or I'll put it in again for the white shield. And we get the Eros bow, which is a very good bow for Angelo. You can actually, it's actually better than the Templar sword, so, uh, yeah. And what I'm gonna do in between this episode and the next, is I'm probably gonna go back to, uh, Pickham and try to win one, uh, win myself one, um, silver tray so that I can make another white shield for Angelo. Because this one I'm probably gonna give to Jessica. And let's give this to Angelo. And it's a good, it's a good uh, bow because it occasionally confuses the monster that it hits. So that's pretty nice. So let's keep looking for this treasure chest, which I'm pretty sure is around here. I know it's behind the. Uh, is that a mushroom? Are there mushrooms here. I know it's behind the castle over here. Let's see. This is a pretty tiny island, so you really can't get lost on here. 
But where is that chest? Is that it over there? There it is, with the cow. Excellent. Excellent. Get ourselves some milk. And open the treasure chest. We get another mini metal, yay! We have 32 now. We need 36 to get another thing. So, what I think I'm going to do for this, the remainder of this episode, and maybe an episode following, is we're going to go and search for some new monsters, infamous monsters, to recruit for our monster party. For the monster arena, so let's get going. Alright, there's one monster I want to recruit, and he is called... Potbelly or something. He's one of those big potbelly dragons we fought way back near Peregrine Quay. So let's uh, let's head over towards the Trodane region. Yeah, and it does take a minute, and only like a couple seconds or so, about ten seconds to load between water uh, travel and <coughs> foot travel. Anyways, yeah. So as you also notice, the the ship obviously moves a lot faster than if you were walking on foot, so that's pretty nice. And let's see, this is the area we want to go to. You remember that little tip of Southern Trodane that I told you don't even bother going to? Well, now we're going to go to it because um, we want to get ourselves a infamous monster. Plus, there's a treasure chest over here, so let's do that. And then we're, that I'll probably call it a day. So let's see, there's a treasure chest pretty close to the tip over here, and we couldn't get it before because I think we need the magic key to get it. I think we did. I'm, don't quote me on it. See, I knew we needed a key. And we got a seed of magic. Yay! Now, we don't have a lot of HP or MP here, so we're gonna try to take this dragon on without any, uh, without any uh, help from magic. The Putty Dragon. Now, this guy, he can be a little difficult, because, one, I don't have any magic, two, um, he spews flame breath. Well, he's just like the other guy, or the, uh, version we saw before, but a lot tougher. So let's use Angelo's skill, and that puts him to sleep. And I shouldn't have attacked. Whoa, thank God he didn't wake up. Oh, you got, damn, oh, damn it, he woke up. Well, what do you expect? See, look at that. His defense increases by 57. That's pretty good. Use it again. And attack. No, we're gonna have Angelo heal. Is that what I did? Take that, dragon. Ow! Damn! I wish I had the magma staff. Then, uh, then Jessica could be a little more useful right now. But that's alright. Oh yeah! All right, we need to heal each other. Heal up. Let's heal uh, Kenshin. All right, there we go. Let's wail away at him. Yeah, this guy's got a lot of HP. Oh, we're, we healed healed Angelo instead. Well, whatever. Uh oh. Now these moves that he's using on us are actually the same moves he'll be using in the monster arena. And let's heal Kenshin. Alright. Oh, we beat him, yeah. We're gonna totally have this dragon join our, our monster team. Hell yeah, 500 HP. So what if his agility's a little low? Anyways, we'll do what I said we were gonna do in the next episode.